Hey guys, it's Nick. Um, I'm here today doing an another mock review. Oh, I got five mocks to show you guys. These are the Guardians. Um, we have Vinyl here. We got Magma. We got Cryo. We have Shadow. This right here is Ezio. Um, you see why? Kind of based off of Assassin's Creed. Revelations. There's a reason for that. And uh, he's kind of the newbie. But we're going to look into him right now. So this is Ezio. Um, he's actually an assassin. He's the assassin of the team, actually. Um, he has just two blades kind of coming out of his shoulders. He's got this blade here. Um, oops. He has this giant container on his back, but that's just kind of ammunition and stuff for the for um, the other guys, because these guys don't usually go on missions as a team by themselves. They kind of are working with other teams and stuff, so he carries around other ammunition for the other teams and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, and these guys are kind of like the front line of defense, so. Um, this right here is a gun. Uh, may not look like it, but he'll shoot it. It'll hit the enemies. It'll blind them. And then he just kind of comes up and stabs him in the face. Also, this right here is kind of like a scanner thing. And it'll scan stuff and then it'll show him exactly where all the guys are and stuff. So that they don't surprise him. Even if they have like a cloaking thing or whatever. Um, you can still see him. So anyways, yeah. So that's Ezio and uh, we're going to move on to the next one. This is Shadow here. Um, he was the first one that I built out of all of them. Ezio was the last one. And, uh, anyways. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, him. Taller than Ezio. Ezio is kind of like normal size for a hero. And, um, he's bigger. So, um, yeah. He has a shield here. Which uh, is actually pretty loose just because of the big f fist there. And then he has a dual sword here. And, um, God, his legs are really irritating me right now. And, uh, yeah, so. He's kind of got some things under his neck. And, uh, he's kind of also got these parts and that. And... There's two torsos on this dude, as you can see. Um, that's why he's so big. I do this, I've done this technique a lot before, and, uh, still haven't stopped using it, because I just think it works. It looks good for figures. Especially if you're trying to make a big figure, um, it works out. It's just, you have to have larger feet, or else it's not going to work. But... Um, yeah, that's Shadow and I to move on, moving on to the next one. This is Cryo. Cryo was actually originally a beast, four-legged beast, and he was put into, like, a Cryo sleep, and half of his, um, body got frozen because his body wasn't used to that kind of stuff, so, um, he's still kind of frozen because he went back into a Cryo sleep because he thought he would actually be able to handle it, so he's still actually half frozen, um, and they kind of had to mutate him into this, but, um, the ice kind of makes him stronger, just because, um, well, they kind of built him like that, but half of him is frozen, so you got ice kind of digging under the armor, so the armor's kind of, um, I don't know, messed up on this side, and he also has a shield, too, it's actually a saw shield, and it just kind of has this ice kind of coming off and stuff. And, oops. and um, he has the friction adders on his legs so that it kind of kind of makes it more like he's actually frozen. So he's actually kind of, he's slower than the other guys. But, um, yeah, kind of has a little bit of a extra chest piece. And he has a sword with an extra long handle. And, uh, yeah. Then he's just kind of got some tubes coming off. I don't know why those are there. They're just kind of there. Because I thought they actually looked cool. 
But um, yeah, so that's Cryo. Moving on to the next one. This is vinyl. Um, I'm saving the best one for last, my favorite, which is Magma. But um, this is vinyl. Um, he ha he also has a shield. He has a sword with a dagger on the bottom. Um, he has these little things kind of coming off of um, his chest. Um, he's got a little breathing tube coming out and into the tank, which is actually just the head of an old bionicle thing. You can see all that's attached in. Um, he's got some little things just kind of hanging down and growing onto his feet. Um, he's got a little vine there. Um, what else do I say about this dude? Um, yeah, that's <laughs> basically him. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, oh, God, that happened. You probably saw my ugly face, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I show that off in many videos, and it horrifies people, gives other people nightmares. But anyways, on, on to the last figure. Okay, so this is Magma, my favorite. He's unique from all the other figures because, um, instead of a shield, he has a saw, which makes him awesome, because, you know, that's just the way he whirls, man. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, don't fall over. Uh, or fall over, you know, whatever. Um, he's kind of got these knee pads that um, he can use to stab people with. He's got really tiny feet, but still, they look good. I like him. He's got like a lot of armor add ons on him. Just move sort out of the way. He's also got that hanging down. He's got that there and all kinds of translucent parts there you turn him around to the back he's got some golden parts there more armor add-ons uh, more armor add-ons and uh, yeah he has this blade here which has a sword it's a sword and it's beautiful and it has two little swords on the side and um, probably in my opinion the best part of him his saw which kind of comes out a little bit and it can spin and it can cut through stuff um, and then on the sides here it's got two other saws here and then there's blades in the back of that and there's got some spikes on the bottom of that and then there's some more little sharp things here and it just kind of makes it look awesome and um, yeah and then he's just got that giant that big piece there and yeah, his head is actually a Ferno head, like this. Probably a lot of people already knew about this little thing, but, um, it's just a Ferno head. From the original figures. And if you turn that around, from the very first Hero Factory thing, actually, if you turn that around, you get this head, which I think looks awesome. So those are the Guardians, um, probably gonna be taking these guys all apart and making Ezio here into one of the big guys, one of these larger guys, cause I got the pieces to do it, so I'm probably gonna be doing it. Also, one other thing, my alien has been updated, so if you've, if you've done the how-to build and uh, you've kept it so far, um, Switch out the large chest piece for a large black hand. It looks much better. Anyways, just wanted to say that. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Actually, like this video, comment what you think, subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.